What would it look like for revival to truly come and outpouring would truly come that would far surpass this building and it would hit the streets of Somersville? What would it look like if instead of us sending out teams to go and evangelize the lost people, we started sending teams to the hospital to evacuate the beds? Why? Because there's some power in us. There's some fire. We've been engulfed with fire. We're at 212 degrees. There's no sign of stopping now. We're just going hotter, getting hotter and hotter, deeper and deeper. Why? Because we know we are at a place of no return. We are at a place where we're not, our, not only is revival burning in this building, revival is burning in us. And we are going to carry revival. We're going to be like Peter. People are standing on the street. They're broken. They're bleeding. We're going to look at them and say, you don't need money, but what I have is far greater. In the name of Jesus, be delivered. Devils, come out. Rejection, come out. Rape, come out. Malice operating inside of us, and we're beginning to change the world around us. God, I really believe that what God is trying to do, it overflows. Come on. What would it look like if your sons and daughters start laying hands on people that they've never seen because Holy Spirit said, go pray for them? Jesus. And they start praying for people. They never listen. What would it look like for your baby? Listen, our prayer was over Samuel that whoever can never get pregnant, he would be a healing to somebody. And so when they pick him up, there would be such an anointing of healing on him that the moment they hit that, let me tell you, be quiet. I will train up my child in the way that he should go and in the end he'll not depart. Why? Because I'm not trying to raise up another normal child in America. I'm raising a prophet that's going to stand up and declare it's not by might nor by power but only by the Spirit says the Lord. I am raising but the glory of God dwelling in their life. Somebody help me in this room. What would it look like if you started getting phone calls from your children's principals? And they say, well, your child is causing a disturbance. What kind of disturbance are they causing? Well, I really don't know. Started a prayer line. <laughs> Students are laid out in the classroom. Teachers are getting saved. It's causing a disturbance in us. His world is changing the world around us. Listen, be ye not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. God is not raising a normal culture of young people or church. He's raising up a church that says, let me carry revival out of the building because of what I'm stewarding it's beginning to overflow out of my belly will flow rivers of living water ah, Jesus when revival leaves the building and hits the marketplace something will shift When we teach our children, we are not to be intimidated by liberals and politically correct people that want to silence the roar of the wild ones. But we are a generation that is stripping the muscle off. We're breaking out of a cage of domesticated Christianity. And we're saying, here we are, God. We're the burning ones. We're the wild ones. And we're not going to be silent. God sin revival to every at this church every penetrating that causes your glory to remain in this city. Yeah. 
I'm hungry. Like I'm Nicole Terros. God, I feel him. Lift up your hands. I feel him in this room. What a big hit. Unde de bato rabo setela la mokosha. Oh, he's in this room. He's in this room. Holy Spirit, you're in this room. Holy Spirit, you're in this room. You are empowering this place, what you are releasing in this house. It's going to have permanent, permanent effect on the enemy. Holy Spirit, we worship you. Jesus, we worship you. Father, we worship you. We thank you for your divine presence that we feel in this room. Oh, God, I feel him in this place. Come on, do you feel that? Do you feel that weight as we begin to feel his presence began to descend into this place because we have come to pursue his power. His power that can raise. Listen, I want the same power. The Bible says that we have been filled with the Spirit. We've got to have Holy Spirit that says, You must live and not die. Somebody at some point has got to be like Paul. You got to stop preaching for a moment and run to the next generation that just fell out of the church and say, There's still life in you. Get up. He's bringing us into an intimate place. I want you to stand with me all over this room. I feel him in this place. He's wanting to engulf this place with his holy fire. And that you begin to burn for him when you leave this place and you can't stop burning for him. Where compassion begins to overtake you and love like Jesus begins to overtake you. And you don't judge people anymore, but now you see how wounded they are. And you realize that God has sent you to where they are because they're about to receive power. Come on, just lift up your hands. I don't know where we're about to go, but I know we're about to get caught up in the current again tonight. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we want to be under your influence. Fill us with a new wine from heaven tonight. That we would be so endued with power that the power that you fill us with tonight would surge throughout our very being and we would carry it everywhere we go and as we walk and as we he's empowering a generation not to bl- because what he is birthing in this generation does not have permission to sit down. It only has permission to run. Mm-hmm. 
Robo sede le la manda la lo lo tarra bebe te asuta moko ya. Hoba kar. Jesus. Jesus, we just want you tonight. We just want you tonight. We just want you tonight. Holy Spirit. We feel the, the weightiness of your presence in this room. Lord, come sit down in this place. Uh, come sit there come sit down in this place come sit down in this place your response to his presence in this moment ultimately determines where we're about to go next all I'm going to say is run Run, run, run. Come on, come on, come on, come on. His presence is for sons and daughters. His power is for this generation. about to put you under the influence tonight he's about to put you under the influence tonight for you won't be able to walk normal out of this house another moment you won't be able to talk the way you used to talk because you're under the influence of Holy Spirit and he is controlling you now you're under the influence you're about to see what you've never seen. You're about to hear what you've never heard. You're about to declare what you've never declared. Come on. Come on. Come on, if you, if you feel him, get out of your seat and move. If you feel him, get out of your seat and move. Right now, he's about to put us under the influence tonight. He's about to put us under the influence tonight. Put us under the influence. Put us under the influence. Raise up prophets. Raise up prophetesses. Raise up apostles. Raise up evangelists. Raise up pastors. Raise up teachers. Raise up revivalists. Holy Spirit, feel us. Uda ba ta ta la mo ho so Uda ma se te ya na la 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 mo ko Under the influence Under the influence Till your whole family gets right with Jesus Under the influence Ataka yo ko se
Let him pull you closer. Let him pull you closer. Come on. Come on and let him pull you closer. Come on, let him pull you closer. Come on, let him pull you closer. Make that your cry right now. Do you want to know Abba's heart? Do you want to know Father's heart? Come on. Come on, is anybody hungry for him? Come on, get out of your seat. And come get in the river tonight. Anybody desperate for him, get out of your seat. Come on. He's here. He's here. He's here. Come on. He's here. I want to know.
Father, I want to know your heart. Come on, tell it. Tell it. Tell it. Come on, tell it. Come on, tell it. Tell him. Come on, tell it. Tell it. Oh, but we want your heart. Oh, but we're desperate to know your heart. Abba's heart is. Father, we want to know the next move that you're getting ready to take. God, we want to know what you're about to do next, that we never miss you. Lord, we declare tonight that you are in this house. You are in this place. reverently honor your presence in this room. Come on, would you lift up your hands one more time in this room? Just very reverently just love on him right now. Thank him for his presence that we so mightily feel the heaviness of what he is pouring out. We worship you tonight, mighty Lord. You are truly in this place. As you continue to pull us closer and deeper, Lord, we only want to know your heart and what you're going to do next. Lord, seal 
your word over every heart in this place. God, that we would become hungry for the outpouring of heaven that would cause a revival to break out in the marketplace, that we would operate, God, in the power of the Holy Spirit. God, with signs and wonders and miracles in the earth. As your kingdom comes, your will is done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, truly, our desire is that the world in us changes the world around us. And we give you praise, God, for what you are changing in us that may change what's around us. We bless you for that in Jesus' name. Come on, will you just worship the Lord one more time while pastor comes? presence I'm not certain that we have comprehended nor do we yet know exactly what all he's done but I believe that tonight is marked we've marked tonight as a divine moment pivotal moment in our lives that even in the days and weeks and perhaps even months to come when what he's started in you tonight or what he's spoken or what he's planted in you tonight when it begins to come forth you'll remember this night that that was the night that the seed was planted that was the night when, when the stirring began that was the night when breath was breathed on me once again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Don't forget tomorrow morning, Sunday school at 10, worship at 11, worship again tomorrow night at 6 p.m. I want to see all of you and about 150 others just like you here tomorrow. Amen. Can somebody shout the Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. Praise God. God bless you. Have a great evening in the Lord.